It's not funny to me. It's not funny. See, he always counters what I have to say. Listen, That's she the thinks problem. everything's a big joke because all she wants to do is take my money. How does it make me feel that he put a baby inside me and then he walks off and then he talks about how I'm a low life, but he can't give me any money to do anything First with his all, son? I don't walk off, all right? I really can't stand him. Try to keep your mouth quiet for Can a minute. Can you talk to her? Because I damn okay. sure don't want to hear you. Henry, he's either happy one extreme or he's pissed. I should have never you named my son after him. She's fucking crazy. Poor excuse for a man. I have a life, little okay? anger issue. She got a big anger issue. Yeah, yeah. See, look at you. You just want to hear yourself talk all the time. I, I damn sure don't want to hear you talk. I don't have to do this. You right. can take the man out the ghetto. You can't take the ghetto out well, the ghetto. You already man. know I've been Project. saying that to her ass, all right? Anger issues. Yes, I got anger issues. That's... You're taking my fucking money. It's hard earned money. There's no fine line with this man. I just got a job. What the hell am I you doing run, here? You run your mouth so much. Let me tell you. Let me talk to her. She just got a job. McDonald's is far from a motherfucking See, job. I told you this wouldn't help. You always have to be right about everything. Make sense out of everything. Everything is not supposed to make sense. That was something my grandma Pam used to say. Everything is not supposed to make sense. And she was right. My grandma was a wise woman. She would say, God gave you two good feet. You can either stay still or keep going. No use in feeling sorry for yourself. You get yourself way into this mess. You can get yourself out. She lived to be 92 before we laid her to rest. She was smiling and kind. <laughs> she told me to remember one thing. A man will treat you exactly the way you allow him to. And that the road to self-respect was not an easy one. And that you may not like what you find along the way. Another day, I'm feeling stuck. Don't wanna move, baby. I just wanna lose. Yeah, I'm bound to lose, but I don't want the news. I'm confused, I always choose us. Call me crazy, cause it's true. I can't tell if I'm still in love with you. Cause my thoughts are far away. You know my mind is going, babe. Comfort is a killer, but I'd rather be complacent. Cause it might be a mistake If I go, if I stay Henry, I need to talk to you. What? Baby? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm on my way to work, but can I ask you for a quick favor? Tyra, come on. I'm working out. What do you need? I need about a hundred dollars. Listen, I told you not to put him in them expensive ass schools, didn't I? Yeah, it's not that much money. Listen, I went to public schools. That's all I needed, right? What do you want? I, I don't I don't want him hanging out on the street corner. He has to have a good education. Yeah, call me back. Hello? 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 Henry, don't hang up the phone on me. I want to finish this conversation. Why again are you asking me for money? Why am I asking you for money? Because it's your son. And I turned out fine. Yeah, look how you turned out. Mm-hmm. If I didn't hide that gun, you would have got three more years in prison. Tara, that's a low blow. Now, you know I changed my life. Well, change your son's life. Why don't you give him a chance to make something of his life? Maybe with this head start, he can go to Ivy League school. You know, get some opportunities. See what the world has to offer. Or what? You want him to grab a beer and hang out with you and your boys on the corner? I resent you for saying that. You know nine out of 10 businesses fail? Yeah. Well, failure is a chance to learn, not an excuse to quit, Henry. You know, you're so damn dramatic. You know you miss your calling. Why, you, you could have had three Oscars by now. Mm-hmm. If I didn't hide that gun, you would have got three more years in prison. You owe me. I mean, all I'm asking for is $100 for your son's school trip. No, I'm not going to give you $100. Listen, when I was in school, field trips cost $10. Henry, it's for your son's science trip. They got to ride in a bus for two hours. Look, why don't you just get the money from your new man? Yeah. Well, that man, he bought sneakers for your son, and I felt terrible, but he needed them. So how does that make you feel, another man buying sneakers for your son? Huh? You should feel like a piece of shit. You know what? If you have any of them dumbass morons around my motherfucking son, do you, you, you know what you are? Low down. The dick of ass bitch. That's what you are. I'm the mother of your child, you fucking loser. How could you talk to me like that?
Answer the phone. I'm done talking to you, Henry. Don't call me back anymore. I'm on my way to work. Listen, don't hang up. Look, I know we don't get along. And we haven't gotten along in a long time. But for the sake of our son, please, I'm gonna have dinner with Kara at 6 o'clock at Garino's. Well, hooray for you. Come at 5.15, 5.30. Please, just be on time. I will give you the money. Don't be late. I don't want you to run into it, because the last time that you came up there, you almost wired a jaw shut. Well, I don't give a shit about that buck too, Poe. I just care about my child. All right, for me. Just be on time. OK. OK. Look, I'll be there. All right, thank you. Inhale deeply. Let your head touch the sky, hold it. And exhale into your meditation stance and hold. Girl, I don't know why you're always doing for dude. He got you pregnant, left you, and now he gives you money whenever he feels like it. Jeez, you make it seem like it's some kind of science experiment. <laughs> Impregnation sequence begins. He was, seriously. <laughs> Listen, you need to get a backbone. Ty, you need to toughen up. My motto is, if he ain't putting food in my mouth, he going to the courthouse. No, he's trying. Besides, I don't want to alienate him. He's a good dad. And little Henry, he worships the ground he walks on. Well, it sounds like he's not the only one worshiping the ground. Excuse me? Does my friend have a case of the starry eyes herself? <laughs> Girl, no. Shh. Girl, I do not want him. Mm -mm. I moved on to better and way bigger things. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're going to have a second better and bigger science experiment coming soon. Uh-uh. Don't wish that on me. I am strapped up Sally. Uh, well, you acting like knocked up Nancy. <laughs> you just hating because you're not getting none. Uh-uh. Celibacy is my choice, honey, OK? I chose that. These men are driving me crazy. So I put them on an official time. Oh. Time out. Girl, time out. Your time out has been like six months. You're on an official coochie hibernation, vagina vacation. Hibernation, girl, this is a Durastel stimulation. <laughs> and speaking of Mr. Bigger Things, where is he at on the road? Yeah, I told you he's a pharmaceutical rep, so he's always on the road. Girl, pharmaceutical rep. OK, so he's a pharmaceutical rep out on the road making tons of money, but me and him both drive a Honda. I work at 7-Eleven. And we drive the same car. Stop. <laughs> Come no, on. No, no. <laughs> you are just hating. But it is fine. Look, I got to get ready and go to work. OK. I'll see you tonight. You and little Henry better be over for the Real Housewives Marathon. Then the reunion show. Oh, I got to take a rain check because I got to go to the restaurant to get the money from Henry. <sighs> you going to see Henry? Tyra? Tyra, what? I forbid you to see him. I don't want to be with you for four hours while you're crying. You look like Shabba Ranks when you cry. Have you ever seen yourself? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. You are emotionally scarring. Don't go. I forbid you. But don't worry. I'm going to be out of the restaurant before she even gets there. OK. But girl, you need me to come with you. I got Vaseline, razor blades, whatever I need, and rolled up newspaper. You know how I get down. Girl, no, no, no. I am not worried. I told you, I'm going to leave, get the money from Big Henry, and I'm gone. Mm -mm -mm. OK. Well, you know the code to text me if you need backup, because you know I'm about that action. I know you are. <laughs> I know. Bye, Lindsay. I love you. You leaving? I'm leaving yoga. That's cool, because when I'm in Miami turning necks, snapping heads, then you're going to be looking like that. <laughs> Let me finish this class. Yes. Yeah, now right. I got to go. I'll <laughs> see you. Oh, that's what you think? That's what you think? You're looking, <laughs> you're looking very flabby. I'm supposed to be Serena and you Nicki Minaj, girl. Real booties matter. Oh, I'm going to leave, too. You can answer that if you need to. Oh, no. That, that's OK, Mr. Owens. It's just Henry. He's called me six times already. Mm. Jeez. Well, I understand. What do you mean, you understand? Fine woman like you, working late with a rich man like me. 
I'd be worried too. Oh, really? Brother's just feeding the heat. Oh, he's not the jealous type. Yeah, why not? Or has he got uh, something else going on to distract him? Um, the Jones case. We were discussing the Jones case, right? Yeah, the Jones case. We'll need sworn testimony over to the judge by morning, uh, along with that brief. Good evening, welcome. Good evening, uh, can I have a table for two, please? Preferably in the back. Oh, hot date. Excuse me? I mean, I just assumed since you want to sit in the back that, you know, maybe you had a little hanky-panky for dessert. <laughs> That's a little inappropriate. Could you just see me to my table, Look, please? Look, relax, I don't mind watching. You know, back in my apartment, I got binoculars. <laughs> I like to watch all the time. And you never know, I just might jump off the sidelines and join the game. Are you crazy? <laughs> Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. You ain't seen crazy yet. Dr. Garcia will be with you in a second. Great. Looking forward to doing business with her again. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, no, but can you hold on a second? Okay. Well, I was just trying to see what time we're going. So I'm gonna have to call you back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Definitely, definitely, definitely. May I help you? Yeah, um, I'm here to see Henry Fairway. Oh, you mean that sexy chocolate drop at table 24. Excuse me? Girl, let me know if you need help with that. I got you. Excuse me? You know they say bad things come in threes? Very... Very bad things. Okay, this is getting awkward. Just please take me to the stable. All right, this way. Goodness, I didn't come here to be sexually assaulted. <clears throat> I was a victim too. What kind of seedy place is this? You know what? I'm not surprised, considering you picked this spot. You go with the jabs again. Come on, let's just get this over with, because I don't even want to start with you. OK, let's get it over with, because Carl will be here soon. Well, please, OK, well, let's hurry up then. Well, what is your problem? Oh, look, Carl's going to be in my life, so you need to just learn to get along with her. I don't need to learn to get along with her. I don't need to learn nothing. She needs to learn how to control her mouth and keep her damn hands off her iPhone. Or do I need to remind her, Please. Henry, because I'm- What the hell do you have to be so ghetto? Please, I am not ghetto. I'm from Burbank. I learned all this foolishness from you and Worldstar. You said $100, right? That's right. And what's up with you and all these over-the-top field trips? Over the top? Yes. You know what's over the top is you going to strip clubs and sports betting places. You know what? What's wrong with being over the top for your son? Oh, God. Here it comes. You know what? I should have kept my legs closed for you. She used them same damn legs to run away from you. What is your problem? Huh? What's wrong with you? Everything's an insult. You can't just sit down, have a nice meal, have a great conversation, can you? No, you can't. You know what? Just give me the money so I can get the fuck out of yes, here. Yes, please get the fuck out of here. Henry. You on your way? No, no, I'm sorry. This project is taking forever. Well, listen, I don't understand. Why are you not over here? Why are you still there? Henry, I told you about asking questions when it comes to my work. 
I'm sorry, baby. Right there. What? Carl, what are you doing? Um, no, nothing, sir. The files can go right there. Listen, you go ahead and eat without me. I, I can't talk right now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be home in the morning. What do you mean in the morning? Clara, Clara. <sighs> He's so clingy sometimes. I can't take it. That's why you need a grown ass man in your life. I wouldn't ask you no questions. Is that so? Yeah, I don't play no games, but. <laughs> Interesting. Well, you might as well stay. Have a drink, she's not coming. Mm-mm, I'm not a consolation prize. Just give me my money so I can get back on the bus. I cannot believe she's not coming. Well, what did she say? Uh, can I get you anything, sir, ma'am? Uh, yeah, um, Jack and Coke for me, and get her a vodka cranberry Syrah. I'll have the Chardonnay. OK, right away. She says she has work to do. I hope it's very productive. And what are you supposed to mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like it's a little sweet revenge for me, you know? Seeing you go through the same thing that you put me through. Look, I don't know what you're talking about, right? And ain't nobody gonna cheat on Big Hen. Because <laughs> I know what I bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Big Hen? Yes. Oh, okay. I'll give you B plus at best. B plus? B plus. Oh, Henry, spank that ass. Oh, my Gosh. God, Henry, you're knocking my hip up out of place, baby. You're about to, ouch. Oh, really? Shit. Oh, wow. Come on. OK, OK, OK. You had some A-plus moments, but you're not Mr. Consistency. Mm. Now, Michael Jordan had a couple days off, too, but he was still Michael Jordan. Henry, Michael Jordan, no. I say you're like Scottie Pippen at best, but you're not a Michael Jordan. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. So, um, what's your next move? What you got going on in your life? Well, I'm starting a new business. Some marketing internet play. <laughs> I hope this is not another one of your get rich quick schemes, because the only person getting rich is the person selling to idiots like you. Mm -hmm. You know, life is about hard work. Mm -hmm. There ain't no shortcut. No, I don't take advice, especially business advice from people who ride the bus. Oh, come on. That is by <laughs> choice. I'm on the bus because I'm trying to stack my money, okay? Unlike you, I have a financial plan. Right, right. Right. Your financial plan is saving your money and spending mine. Mm -hmm. well, I like that plan. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? What? No, what? If all that stuff didn't happen with your niece, do you think we would have been broken up? Here we go, Trinice. You mean my coworker who you slept in our bed with? She was giving me a massage. See, Henry, come on now. You know what? I'm about to go. No, come on. Okay, wait. Waiter! Listen, wait, wait, listen. I shouldn't have brought that up. You forgave me for that. I mean, we went to the pastor and everything, and he prayed, and they, you know, all of that. Yeah, well, forgiveness is an operational word. I didn't forget. <laughs> Listen, I, I know you think I'm selfish. Selfish? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm an only child. What do you expect? Yeah, and your mama still treats you like you're an only child. And why you got to bring my mama into this? Well, I mean, you brought up Trini, so I thought everything was fair game. All right, speaking of games, let's play one. <laughs> Ask me anything. Anything, and I promise I'll tell you the truth. Anything? Mm-hmm. Mm. Anything. Okay. Is she better than me? Come, why would you ask me that? Why would you ask me that? Is she is she better than me? Right, no. But her mic game, when she rocking that mic. <laughs> I can't lie. When she rocking that mic, she... Really? Okay, but when it comes to, you know, getting married and all of that stuff and settling down. I get after you. Then what should, did she do different than I did? Well, she just, you know, she had a couple different angles that you just, she know how to move her head a certain way and it's just like, it works. Oh, okay. Well, like, you know what? Stop, 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 stop. Okay, that's enough. You know what? I didn't want to hear all okay, of it. Okay, well, you shouldn't ask if you didn't want to know. Now, you ask and I try to tell you. Yeah, well, you have a lot to learn, too, about yourself, young man, about 
pressure points. Oh, you don't even need to go there. Yes, I do. Because we already done established I am the man. <laughs> you the man? Okay, well, I need to hear that from somebody else besides yourself. Then it might be true, Henry. Well, ask her. You want to ask? Oh, really? <laughs> the man. The man, huh? Hold on. I think I got to answer this phone call. I'll be right back. Be my guest. The man. Man. <laughs> What? You, you on your way? You got the money? Yeah, I'm gonna leave in a second. <laughs> I think he wants to talk with me. Oh, obviously, he's been stood up. Oh, gosh, I would've stood his lame dead ass up, too. All right, now, stop it. You know that's my baby daddy. Girl, there you go, protecting him again. So, Lindsay, I'm gonna need a quick favor. Story of my life, Ty, what's up? You know, I had a drink, and I don't drink that much. Is it all right if you pick up a little man for me? Ah, <sighs> okay, um, hold on. Okay, I can rearrange some things and make that happen. Thank you. I owe you my life. We've established that you owe me your life. Come up with something better. I appreciate you, I do. Oh, you appreciate me, right? Okay, well, if you win Cartier, come on out with the red box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl, take your time. Do what you have to do, just get your money. Get out of there and call me as soon as you're on your way. I got little man. All right. Bye. Love you. Uh, you know I love the kids. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <sighs> so, you got the $100 for little Henry's lavish trip. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. Right. Tyra! Hey, come on. Come on, look. You really need to go? Come on. Can't you just eat a little bit? Well, I really do need to go. Oh, you should just have a few bites, and then you can go. You know you can eat real fast. <laughs> Shut up. Look, I ordered your favor. You ordered for me? Yeah. You know how much I hate when you do that. No. Love when I do that. That's a woman's code for that turns me on. <laughs> All right. So? All right, I, I, well, uh, it isn't safe out here. <laughs> and I am hungry, come on. Come on. All right. <laughs> no, I do remember the time when you were like on that boat and you fell off. <laughs> and then you were screaming like a little girl, like, help me, save me. I was help. not screaming like a little girl. <laughs> yes, you were. was a manly scream. Mm hmm Besides that, black people in water don't mix really well. <laughs> you can't say that because I'm black and I can swim. Well, you didn't jump in to help me. No, because um, at that time, I had that life insurance policy, and I was thinking about that mansion in Miami. You know you can't live without me, and especially not down in Miami. Yeah, I don't know about that. Why don't you try me? Let's go rent a boat or a canoe and see what happens. You would jump in and save me. I don't know. I mean, you know what? That park ranger did a good enough job. You would <laughs> you jump in and save me. Yeah, OK. I would save you. Can I ask you something? What? Personal question. No. <laughs> you ever think about me? You ever think about us? No, because um, I have Lamont now. Lamont. Lamont? You know you don't even love Lamont. That bastard. Look at him. Look at Lamont and look at me. Huh? D there is no comparison. Now back to what I asked. Everything about us? I can't answer that. <laughs> you know. Oh my gosh. Why do you keep looking at the girl? What, what is that girl looking at? Why does she just keep staring over here? Something's going on or something. I'm gonna come over there and tell her well, about you... herself in a second. Please, why are you so ghetto? 
You can take the girl out of the ghetto, but you cannot take the ghetto out of the girl. Don't say it. You know I hate when you call me ghetto. Besides, you the one who grew up in the projects. I wouldn't even step foot over in your neighborhood after 5.30 p.m. Ain't nothing wrong with being raised in the projects. Yeah. Jay-Z came from the projects. Well, my dad was a high school principal. Oh, and you aren't no Jay-Z. And you damn sure ain't Beyonce. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's why I can't stand you. You just have a smart mouth. Yeah, well, I mean, you trying to make everybody think that I'm from the ghetto. You know I'm sensitive about that. Why are you sensitive? Why don't you embrace being from the hood? I, I do embrace being from the hood. Nothing wrong with being from the hood. So I got my street smarts. And I wouldn't get played by nobody like Lamont because I got street smarts. Oh, well, what is that supposed to mean? What do you mean, what is it supposed to mean? Oh, I'm on the road. I'm a salesman. I'm gone all the time. Hell, you know what he's doing. You know, why don't you focus on your own relationship and get out of mind? I do focus on my relationship. She makes good money and she has a job, unlike you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, where is this good woman of yours? Taking care of business. <laughs> oh, and you believe that yourself? Yeah, I believe it. Why wouldn't I? Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm done. You know what? I'm going to go pay this bill, and when I get back, you be gone. How about that? Yeah, well, go ahead, pay this bill. It's the least you can do. The least I can do. Yeah. I'm going to be right here drinking my drink. Right. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be nosy. Then why are you being nosy? What do you want? I saw you over there sticking your nose all in my business. What, <laughs> you wanna knuckle up? Listen, again, I'm very, very sorry. I just couldn't help to overhear about you and your boyfriend. No, ex-husband. Well, I couldn't help to hear you and your ex-husband arguing. Seems like you guys have a lot of pimped out anger against each other. Excuse me, but how is that any of your business? Well, to be honest, I can't help it. My ears kind of tune to these type of things. I'm a professional counselor specialized in broken relationships. Yeah, well, this relationship, it, it can't use any of your help. You'd be surprised. I've helped a lot of couples come back from the brink. We are well beyond the brink. Mm. I don't think so. I mean, just like anything else in life, it all depends on how much work you're willing to put in, but... Okay, well, listen, I know you're the expert and all, but I disagree. Here's my card. If you can convince him to come, you never know. You guys may be able to work things out and put this back together. Yeah. I know you're an optimist and all, but I don't have any money. Mm -mm. If you can convince him to come, it'll be on me. Okay, whatever. You have a great day, ma'am. You too. Hmm. <clears throat> my God, you get on my nerves. With I should have never even let you sit down with me. Oh, you let you me sit You know what? I'm going to call you Uber so you can take your ass home. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. You only let me sit down because you were lonely. I was not lonely. I let you sit down because I didn't. Whatever. I shouldn't have let you sit down. Now my damn phone. I got a surge because of the damn Uber. <laughs> cheap, cheap phone. What do you mean I'm cheap? I should put your ass back on the bus. Look at you. I'm supposed to be the mother of your child. That's how you talk to me. You're... Yeah, you're the mother of my child, but sometimes you just get on my nerves. It's always like this. You know what? I'll stand out here, wait on the bus, whatever I got to do. Ten more minutes, but I got to get up for work in the morning. Uh, you don't have to get up for no work. What does your work consist of? Thumbing through, like, ads? Shh, you know what? Whatever. Oh, whatever. Yes, whatever. Why you always got to bother me? I would leave your ass out here, but I know a homeless guy is going to drag you in the back of the alley, so I'll wait with you. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Your daddy is a principal. And I'm from the ghetto, remember? So I'll stay out here and I'll wait with you, as I always do. Oh, and that's the least you can do, you know? Look, my hotel is right up there. I'll go and get my car, and we can just drive you home like that. How about that? Wait a minute. Let me answer it. Well, whoever it is, maybe they can come pick your ass up. What's wrong with you? Who the hell is that? Hello, my phone. What? My phone. Oh, you on that damn cell phone? Don't answer it. Hey, hey baby, I'm on call. It could be a client. Sorry, just give me a second. You pharmaceutical guys are so strange.
Listen, let's just go down here and I can just go get my car. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Who was on the phone? You never said nothing. How the hell are you? I'm gonna need a stiff one. Tyra, come on, look. I don't have all night. I gotta get up for work in the morning. He loves me. No, please, just stop. Can he you loves stop? me Will not. you quit, please? You know what? This is what I'm talking about. I'm not looking at her. And she crossed her legs. Just what? stop and stay here with me. You gotta be. Oh, stop it. Get your hands up. Come on, come on. All right, I'm being serious. <laughs> Therapist, give us therapy. I think that you guys need to let each other talk I one at a time. <laughs> And all right, go ahead. Every time I say something to you, Babe. you're writing something in there, but she's writing in the book. So, how do you feel that he has someone else? How do I feel that he has someone else? Don't do that to me. Oh, See, on, I hate that. What do you mean you hate that? Just can you figure something out? Just talk to her. Talk to her. You guys obviously love each Please other, get off or else of you guys me. wouldn't be you? here. I'm here because uh, my son, all right? It's the only reason I'm son here, because I want to get along with his mother. That's all she is to me, my son's mother. Shut up. Look, here, you know what? That's what I'm okay, talking about. Okay, so, <clears throat> as I was saying. What do you want us to tell you? How does PDA make you feel? PDA. PDA, you know what that acronym stands for? Yes. From the projects? You know, see, <laughs> you see how nice okay. I am? I'm trying to be nice to her. But every time I be nice to her, then she always has to say something that I like. Well, you know I have a sarcastic mouth. No, but you, you just, you have, a, you have more than that. Your mouth is not the problem. But does okay, it, does Tyra. It, right. What is the reason for your sarcasm? I feel like whatever you're writing in that book, I want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere else. Oh, no, this is strictly confidential. She's lying. I seen something. She's she wrote lying. about something else. I, I believe She's been writing about people forever and just. The reason for my scar sarcasm. Sc sarcasm. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm picking up your tendency. Oh, you yeah, the one that's yeah, ghetto. Yeah, yeah. You are ghetto. No, I'm not. I'm from Burbank. You from the project. Why the hell do you keep and saying that? And you always make like these said. references. Burbank got ghetto parts, obviously. I'm okay, gone. Let's just get on. This has got to be the worst case ever. It's so complicated. I feel like every time I know what I'm doing, three more things pop up. Well, that's what we get paid to do, deal with the headaches. My whole life is a headache right now. How so? Life should be great. You're young, beautiful, smart. You should, you should have no worries. <laughs> if only that was the case. All I do is worry. Well, you're gonna have to let that go. You're gonna start seeing gray hairs pop out. <laughs> look at me. 20 years of worry, 20 years of gray. <laughs> well, it makes you look very distinguished. Well, then I must look very distinguished. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just so happens I like older men. Well. Well, what do you say we get out of here and have a drink? Why don't we go have a drink and go over the case? The Jones case. The Jones case. The Jones. The Jones case. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm so glad you took them off when you did. I've been meaning to say something, but I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Please, you know, you always had an issue with that. I ain't never had no problems telling people how I feel. No, you haven't, not at all. You like it. <laughs> you always liked me being your protector. <laughs> hey, I'll give you that, I'll give you that. You always defended me. Sometimes you were a little too aggressive, but for the most part, you made me feel safe. What are you talking about, aggressive? My right hook is a monster, like Lennox Lewis, baby. Okay, I don't know who Lennox Lewis is, but you probably aren't as half as tough as he is. <laughs> See, there you go again, trying to tear me down. You better be glad I'm a mama's boy. I got confidence. <laughs> Henry, that's part of the problem. You're a mama's boy. Maybe if you wasn't a mama's boy, our relationship could have lasted a little bit longer. What are you talking about? I'm an only child. I'm supposed to be a mama's boy. Can I give you some advice? Yeah. It's time for you to take your mouth off your mama's nipple slowly. OK, I wait a minute. What about you? Shopping at Amazon. Wearing it one time and then sending it back. What? Yeah, that's a sh ghetto as hell. Baby, you know it relaxes me. And then what? 
What's gonna happen when Amazon sends the FBI to your house and have your ass somewhere else, then what? FBI? <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. All I do is buy stuff and then I send it back in the mail. I adhere to the return policy. No, what you adhere to is being ghetto as hell. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes I think about all the nights I spent alone building this practice, all the hours of solitude and worry. And, and I, sometimes I, you know, I wonder if everything I missed out on was worth it. I mean, it was my dream, and I'm here now, but, you know, I think of myself, is this it? Does that make sense? I think you did exactly what you had to do to achieve your goals, and, I mean, isn't that what life is all about? Achieving, right? No, well, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think you're getting a little tipsy. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to be rich and well-respected in their field? I mean, what more can you ask for in a man? I love ambition. Oh, do you now? <laughs> I just like a go-getter. I mean, I try to get Henry to get off his behind and do something, but it seems like every time he gets up, he falls right back on his face, and and I want to support him, but I just don't have the patience for it, you know? Everybody doesn't have it in them. It's a long, tough road to success. Yeah, well, I don't want to wait around while he's trying to figure it out. Do you love him? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a toast to finally getting along. <laughs> You're right. And to even maybe being friends. I like how that sounds. Duh, duh, duh. Mm. For little Henry, so. I'll toast to that. For little Henry. Again, let's toast. For little Henry. Mm. Jesus. Oh. Myself into. <laughs> hey, this is my drink. <laughs> you love it. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Go give me another drink. Uh, be right back. All right. Hello. Hey. How's everything going with little Henry? How do I do? Ah! Is that him in the background that I hear? He should be in the bed. You should have told me that a long time ago. Or 10 Twinkies ago. 10 Twinkies? Bro, I'm gonna kill you. I want him to love me. You want me to hate you. That's what you want. Girl, put him to bed. <laughs> okay, well, we have to practice Zoom, but then we're gonna go back. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, seriously. Sound like your meeting is productive. You might let him dust them cobwebs off that thing for you. Girl, shut up, Lindsay. Girl, nothing's gonna happen. Well, hopefully something happens and you can loosen up a little bit. Always on my case. Look, let me call you back in about an hour and put Henry back to bed. That's good, I gotta go anyway. Uh-huh. Okay. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, let's do the video. Do you love her? Oh, I thought I did for a minute, but now I'm not so sure. Well, after three divorces, <laughs> take it from me. <laughs> there is nothing unsure about love. If you're not sure, you're not in love. You're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that irks you about him the most? I mean, what is it? Is it, is it one thing? Is it a lot of things? I don't Oh, I guess it's just, he can't get his act together. I mean, he starts these businesses and he doesn't follow through. And I mean, I guess he tries hard, but trying just isn't good enough for me. I want him to win. Oh, failure is part of success. I started some businesses before this one. It didn't work out, but I, you know, I, I, I stuck to it because, well, you never know. Yeah, well, I don't know if I want to stick around to figure out what's going on with him. I mean, I want to live my life, and I want to live it right now. I hear that, baby. And plus, 
He does this really weird thing with my feet where he likes to kiss my toes, and uh -uh. I think uh -uh. he thinks it's turning me on, and I really don't like <laughs> it. Do you mind? Do you mind a little toe jam between the teeth? Hey, there's no toe jam over here. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to do a little inspection myself. Hey, put check it up him here. out. Let me, put it up here. Let me check see. him out. Let check me him see. out. Put it right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're a funny girl. Uh, amazing sense of humor, you know, for a girl with a face like and that body. Are you flirting with me, Mr. Owens? Well, you can take it out if you want it, but you said you'd like to go get her. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Rumors when the truth is lost, I never stood a chance. We all think you know you love me. I love everybody. I love everybody! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what? You can love everybody. I love everybody, baby. Samuel said we're suspended in disbelief. Simon said No, that's for your girlfriend. Why well, you always get to bring up Kyle, though? You always do that, though, right? Oh my God, the phone was on the whole time. Down. I need a break from carrying your big ass all night. All right. Sit down. Oh, Take baby. a break. I can't sit down here. Oh. 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 Shit. Oh. Oh, late at night. Messing around with your ass. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, about that promotion. Man, you are. Company car. Oh. Corner office. Right across from that. Expense account? Well, now you don't have to work a little hard. Ooh, yippee, yeah, yeah. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Man, you got me out here all late at night, like I'm 18 years old. 18? Yes, late at night. I remember when you was an 18 year old, baby. Let me tell you something. You look. So sexy as the, one of the best cheerleaders cheering over there. Oh, you was so sexy. I saw you do that split look right at me. You was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you was looking at me, acting all super thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we went wrong at the end? Well, uh, you was looking at all those gold-looking women when you had this diamond-looking woman in your pocket. <laughs> Baby, that's the story of my life. Yeah, well, it's no need in rehashing over, you know, the past. What's done is what's done. What? Because you ain't, you can't, like, press the rewind button when it comes to life. No, but you got to take life serious, you know? What you have, yeah, you can't nice. take it for granted what you have, because when it's gone, it might just be gone forever. Baby, listen, I understand that, but at the end of the day, I, I made wrong turns. You don't think I know that you're a good woman? And sometimes I regret it. Yeah. But I don't doubt one thing. What? 
I'm a good woman. You're a good woman. Thank you. you ain't stupid. Thank you. I, I, I like cute. how you talking. You cute. Yeah. I, I like how you talking. You know what? What? You need to drink Crown more often, because I like this conversation. Yeah, I drink cl Crown. Crown. Crown make you clown. <laughs> you still so corny. But you like that, don't you? Come here. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Let me call your girlfriend. Uh, no, 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 don't call What's her. her number? I'm gonna give you my phone. Call, go, and here's the hotel key. I'm in room 112. I don't know if I'm coming to your hotel room. I gotta Come call. Come to room 112, baby. Uh -uh. That's where all the magic happens, baby. Look, I'm not coming to your room. I need mm. to check on my son. Put your hands lower down here. Oh. Make me feel good in my special parts. Henry. What do you mean you're gonna check on your son? It's my son too. He's, Henry. he's fine. What? <sighs> I know you love. <laughs> I know you love me, baby. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Oh, stop. You gonna come back to my hotel room and let me bang them back out for you again? No. You better say that for your friend. <laughs> what? <coughs> oh, that's nasty. Oh, it ain't nasty. Come here, let me suck them toes. Stop! Come here. Don't touch me. Let me breathe on you. Baby. The table? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um. Is there a problem? Do we have an issue here, Lamont? So, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, in the, literally. In the middle of, of something. Okay. I'll call you later. I don't want this to change. It won't. <laughs> Maybe because I'm just not ready. Don't. I know what it looks like. Oh, look, look, Tyra, I just, I just. Stop. No, 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 no. Listen, I just told her that it. it I just, Stop. I just, I just, Henry, don't say anything to me right now. Wait. How could you stoop this low? What the fuck? No, no, no. It's not what you think. Listen. No, it is what I think. Listen, I just, I just, I just told Henry, you. Henry, I've been standing here the whole time watching you with this skank. Well, then you should know that I, I was going to stop this. You know what? You're full of fucking lies, Henry. I just can't be with you anymore. Look what you doing in our bed? Our bed? Why? I have no excuse. You know what? I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much. 
Come on, Tyra, look. I just, I just stopped it. I want to beat her ass you, so bad. I know you do, but Tyra, listen to me. It's not what you think. I stopped it. You know we, we haven't been... I hate you so much. You hurt me over and over and over again. Because we... Infidelity? Really? That's what you want to do? Man, fuck you, Henry. Tyra, we've hurt each other. No. And you know that. You don't love me. You don't love me. I hate you. Listen, Tyra. Tyra, listen. Tyra! Fuck! God damn it. Shit. You know what? One thing that I always hated about you... You used to always leave your dirty socks on the bathroom floor. What? It was a small thing, but I used to always do it consistently, and I wanted to inflict so much pain on you. And then I realized it wasn't the socks. What the hell was it? It was the fact that you took me for granted. I used to always try to keep a clean home and keep you together, but then I realized you was just taking me for granted. Wait, wait, because of the laundry? No. Because no! What? 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 Tyra, Tyra, come on. What are you doing? All right, look. What's wrong with you fucking Neanderthals? Oh, nothing's wrong with me. Come here. Oh. What's wrong with me? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Why don't you love me? I just don't care how she feels. You know why? Because when somebody bangs it into you for two years, that they don't care. They do everything they can to get under your skin, everything they can to show you that, they, that you're not appreciated. Then what am I supposed to do, huh? <laughs> Tears don't mean shit to me. <clears throat> cry. <clears throat> and what's making you cry, hon? What exactly is he, hitting it? He just doesn't listen. Now, there's <clears throat> obviously a reason, Henry, why you came here. You still obviously care about her. Of course I care. And this is why you get upset, correct? Of course I care about her. OK. What? Tell, tell me three nice things about her. I would, I, I would bend over backwards to make her feel special. And she would always outdo me, making me feel even more special. And I hate the fact that I can't communicate with her. I hate the fact that we can't, we can't fight. I didn't just say you. Do you see what I'm saying? I said us, that we can't communicate, that we can't just get along. We have to get along for our son. It's not, that's just not what I want to do. And she should be able to respect that. I can respect us being together. Listen, I'll tell you. I can respect, listen, listen, no. I can respect us being together as parents. You know what it is, what it is at this point. But, but listen, how does it make you feel? It's nothing I can say more or do. Do I want to be in a relationship with her right now? Absolutely not. You're using the keyword right now. Why is that? I'm using the keyword right now because we're sitting here with you right now. I don't, tomorrow is not promised to any of us. But what I can say is this, as of right now, I need my space emotionally from her. I don't want to be in a relationship. I want a partnership to raise our son together. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know anymore. You know, you try to make things right, and then sometimes it just goes wrong. So what's the point of figuring things out anymore, huh? Did we? Yeah. What? Please, no, we didn't. Only if you were dreaming. Uh, you just better be glad I was drunk. <laughs> Whatever. If I was on that jack, baby, I would have been blowing that back out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, this is funny. 
Yeah. Here we are, divorced and cheating with each other. Yeah. Life is crazy, baby. Well, this show has to be over. I know Lindsay is going to kill me. No, Cara's going to kill me. Oh, she's going to go hysterical. Oh, God, what am I thinking? <sighs> oh. We got to get going. Okay. You use the bathroom first. Oh. Hey, mom, that whole corner off. Oh, shit, I know I ain't promised that. No, corner office, it was good, but not that good. Oh, shit, let me check my woman. Catch the bus, I can take you home. Uh, I only have two bus stops. I'm good. Sure? No, 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 it's fine. I'm good. Okay? Tyra. Mm -hmm. What? Henry, what the fuck is this? I knew you were still fucking with that bitch. Excuse me? No, no, wait, Tyra just went. Uh uh, uh uh. Come no, on. wait! Look, I'll show you exactly what a bitch can do. Listen, just think positive. Don't... You know what? It's okay. You could have them. I was all set last night anyway. Carl, where were you last night? I was laid up with a rich man, giving me everything you could never give me, you broke, worthless piece of shit. Who are you talking to? You skank! <sighs> what? Just like I thought. A bunch of ghetto low lives. Y'all are meant for each other. You know what? I can't believe she did this. It's exactly what I expected. I knew she was cheating. You know you deserve way better than that. I know that. I know, but I pushed them all away, Tyra. You know that. Why? Because they ain't you. And that's the nicest thing you said to me in like two years. Look, if you're serious about us, Let's try one more time, you know, for our son. I'm willing to try it, too. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot my comb. It's back at the hotel room. You still have the key? How did I know you was going to try to get back up in that hotel room, sniffing all on the sheets? <laughs> you got that comb on purpose. This is my favorite comb. Right. I'll be right back. I want to need you to uh, pick up little Henry today. Let me get off, all right? Did you hear what I said? Hello? Yeah, I heard what you said. OK, why didn't you answer me then? Because I already told you I have a doctor's appointment today. I told you that once before. Didn't we talk about this last week? I told you I had to work late every day this week. Why should I have to tell you to pick up your son? The fuck is the problem? Do something in this fucking relationship. Do something productive for once. Make the fucking bed or something. You don't do shit right around here anymore. You know, I got to pick up my son. I have to make up the bed. I have to cook dinner. I mean, what do you do? I clean the house, I cook, and I have to take care of my son because sometimes you know where to be found. But you know what? That's OK. I'll get little Henry today. Don't you worry about it. Get my keys and go to work. Good.
Did you cheat on me? No, I didn't cheat on you. But why did you cheat on me? Hmm? You know why I cheated. I, listen, I cheated on you, and I take full responsibility for it. I cheated on you because I did that. Simple. I could I could sit here and tell you that we were growing far apart. You knew that. You could see every day. We argued every day. Like, it, either way, whoever cheated, it doesn't matter. It it's does matter. It always so matters. I don't know what you're talking matters, about. Then. Explain why cheating it matters. Cheating matters. Whoever yes, does cheat. But cheating. explain if it's you. You just don't want to be the one that's cheat. Is that what you're saying? Because explain to me how it's different if it's you or me. Doesn't matter. We're the ones in the marriage. You only cheated and I didn't cheat. How would you feel? I'm not saying that. That's no, the question. No, answer the question. No, answer the question. Both of us have cheated. No matter answer who cheated first. Answer that question. No. Answer it, that it, question. It See, matter. no. Stop. Of course. I won't. How do you no. think? No, you're not listening. It doesn't matter. I'm not listening. Tit for tat. Okay. I might cheat on you. Okay, so, but what I'm saying so is... So don't let me catch you. If I if cheated, I'll cheat on you. I'm saying this. If I cheated, then... Oh, my God. At least he admitted to something. Thanks for being honest. If one person I didn't cheated, cheat. it I doesn't didn't matter. cheat. I didn't cheat. You just don't want to be the one that cheated. I don't oh care. My God. But it doesn't make a difference if you cheated or if I cheated Henry, separately. Henry, it doesn't matter. Henry. What? Why are you talking over me? Because it's the same shit every time with you. You just you listen, you see how it is with her. She there is no answer but her answer. And we're going around and round for no reason. I'm human and I want I don't want to be loved. I want to be touched. I want I want to be hugged. And someone came along and said some of the things that I wish you were saying, you know? But I still take full responsibility that I cheated on you. That's why I'm sitting here. I cheated on you and it was wrong. I'm trying to fight for us. Yeah, but what, 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 what makes it Then different? why would I fight for us then if I cheated? I'm trying to fight for us then, then, then I would, I would be backpedaling. That's not like, necessarily like, true. Let's try to save the relationship. So, I take responsibility for that. And at this point, I just... I want to know if you can forgive me. Yeah. Yeah, I can forgive you. Your mind don't wind, I'm gonna make you mine. These thoughts of you make me feel alive. I can't hold back the way I feel inside. Love, love is you and me, only I can make you feel right. My life is incomplete. Sleep on the couch. All right. Hope you said your prayers. Love you. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. If I have a nightmare, would Daddy come back home and protect me? Why do you keep licking me like that? <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> you like it. Uh huh. No, mm -hmm. Get me all frisky, then you ain't no. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to cook for me tonight. I don't know if I should be frisky with you. Come on, come on. I'll cook for you all the time. A little what? Henry's not here. Well, little Henry's not here, so. Babe, you heat up food for me all the time. You don't make food from scratch. But that's okay. What the fuck is wrong with hot dogs and tater tots? That is so nasty. But, baby, I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, baby. Mm. Give me a real kiss. <laughs> of course. Mm. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. A whole lot. You know, it's just us living here now. But you got your mommy. I 
<laughs> like the new office space. Yeah. It's nice. She's moving up. Guess we paying her good. Yeah. You want me to tell him the three things that I hate about him? Oh. Okay, it's more than three. No, I'm just joking. It's not more than three. The three things that I hate about you is that sometimes you don't listen to me, and I keep telling you that, and I'll tell you I have a doctor's appointment, and you'll forget. Or I'll tell you, can you pick up Henry from school? Henry <clears> Jr. <throat> See? I'm listening to you. I don't forget, but I'm listening. Oh, boy. Three things uh, that I don't like about you. Well, I don't like your stubbornness. I think that when, when we have disagreements or anything, it's just so hard getting, getting past the way you feel. You think you're right, and just there's no, you know, no listening to anything else but you know, the way you feel. Yeah, I'm stubborn at times. But, I mean, it's something that I can work on for you, you know? The second thing that I hate about him is that, I mean, I have to push him to flirt with me and be affectionate. Sometimes you just don't do it automatically, and it's like, hey, hello, cuddle, or something like that. You it's, know, it's just, uh, you know what it is? It's the what difficulties it? that we have, we're having, and 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 it pushes me away. Like it's hard to want to cuddle with you after you just cursed me out. I don't like that you don't like my friends. I mean, I don't like his friends, but. None of them. None of them. I mean, he just makes friends easily with everybody. No, I'm just talking about the friends I've had for a long time. Oh, those. The ones that he always goes on the guys trips with. No, these are people that were in my life for years. Puts me in a weird position because I love them, but I love you. You know, and I want to honor that vow that I made to you, but I have people that I I think are still really wonderful people. And if if they disrespected you or anything like that, then it would be different. But just to kind of not like them because I'm not spending that time with you, that just, that kind of hurts me because I just feel like it's a constant fight. Okay, 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 look. I will be more open-minded about your friends. Good. And I will cut the trips in half. I won't go on as many guy trips. Thank you. And the third thing, I don't like the fact that you, you weave your mother's opinion in our marriage so much. I didn't marry your mother, I married you, and I love your mother. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't say that when I see you're doing something like we talked about before, that I'm gonna hug you and put you in my arms after you make me feel a certain way. No, I'm not ready for that yet. That, that's the, the third thing that I hate about him is that he always says can't, won't, don't, I'm not. I mean, if he would just change his language up some, then but we I would have- But I always say that? You said I always? Always, like it's just all, it's never a time that I say anything else but that. Yes. A lot of, well, a lot of times, majority of the time, you know what I'm talking about. Most of the time, he knows what I'm talking about. So, I mean, he hates the fact that I'm close with my mom. Who says that? I never Who said does that. that? Listen, Who thinks that? I love the fact that you love your mom. Thank Cause you. Because it shows, your mom's a wonderful person. I mean, what else do you want me to say when it's something that we can't do? Can't. Uh, right, but we can't do everything. I can't say yes to everything. When I say no, I should be able to say no without any explanation. Babe, you can say I'm gonna work on that. I'll try to do that. But what are we talking about here? Just, you just said I can't, you don't like when I say the words can't and don't. And what, I mean, that's kind of just out like, there. No, every time we get into a disagreement, instead of saying I can't do that, I won't do that, I shouldn't, you should just say I'm gonna work on that. Maybe that's possible. I just want us to be able to make decisions for us, by us, you know? I want us to be the first team when it comes to making our decisions. And all the other outside influences, let them be outside influences and not, you know, be a part of what we're doing. I'll look at things and try to say that I can try something different. Even if it's out outside of my comfort zone, I'll try to say that I can, or I'll, I will, or, you know. Listen, for you, I'll say, I'm here to say whatever I need to say and do what I need to do. Babe, 
I can work on that for us. I, I can. And I have a great relationship with her. I love her. It's my mother-in-law. I'll work on that. <laughs> Listen, hearing, her, hearing you say this, it just means the world to me. And I want to work on this as hard or even harder. All right, come here. Talk to me. What's going on? Babe, I think we should go to couples therapy. Oh, couples therapy, Tyra? Yeah. Shit. <sighs> OK. Really? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm in. I was a wise woman. Everything is not supposed to make sense. That was something my grandma Pam used to say. She lived to be 92 before we laid her to rest. She was smiling and kind. <laughs> she told me to remember one thing. A man will treat you exactly the way you allow him to. And that the road to self-respect was not an easy one and that you may not like what you find along the way. But the last part, the most important part, came from the wisdom of being married for over 70 years. She would always say that sometimes a real love is worth fighting for. Okay, the three things that I like. So your sense of humor, I love. <laughs> I like a smile. Girl, I like right? Ooh, see? <laughs> now I'm blushing. You just can't tell. Okay, I'm okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, you got some. I do, see. I I love his smile. The three things that I like about Henry, I love his smile. He just glows, and it just warms my heart. It makes me feel a certain way. Well, I love your eyes. I've always loved your eyes. <clears throat> Seems like you've been looking right through me. And then I like the fact that he works out. I mean, he got a body. He got a body. Uh. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. Your sense of humor is just like mine. That's always been great. <laughs> I know I'm a lot to deal with, but uh, just the fact that he sticks it out. A lot of men don't stick it out. And um, he stuck it out with me. Longevity, commitment. And I like that. Yeah, well, you know what? He gets me and understands me like nobody else. Everybody has their ways. I mean, we were all made different on purpose, so that's why I love you. I love you, too. fourth thing that I like about Henry. I like how he serenades me. I mean, he can sing. Go ahead. You are the most beautiful girl in the world to me. To me. 